The outbreak of coronavirus has turned the whole world upside down. The outbreak prompted the president to make a pronouncement that there should be a nationwide lockdown in response to the outbreak. The lockdown did not leave out the colleges. It disrupted the programs in terms of teaching and learning. As a result, the principals of Tibet colleges decided to come up with ways and means of supporting the students who are at home. The first broadcast of the lessons happened on the 15th of April 2020. I therefore want to request all the students, all the lecturers, to commit themselves to watching these programs because these programs are meant for them. After each and every broadcasting, the lessons are sent to the website of DHET. They are also accessible on the website of the colleges. You don't need data to access that. I therefore want to lastly urge you, our students, our lecturers, to ensure that these programs are making an impact on these students to prepare them for the examination. There is no more time left in the year 2020. Stay home, stay safe. Greetings, South Africans. My name is Ms. Madwa from Obit College in Bratz Campus. I'm a facilitator for Center of Specialization in Electrical Field. Today I'm going to present a topic that will cover for phase one, COS learning area one to learning area five. It will also cover for electrical systems and constructions level two to level four. So our topic today is house installation. As electricians, our main duty is to solve people's electrical problems. There is, a, there is three ways in which we can solve those problems. It's either we install or we maintain or we repair. So today we are going to do house installation. By doing this house installation, we are going to take the knowledge that we have learned how to draw the second different sub circuits, then we will take those sub circuits into reality. There is a scenario given to us which we will use those circuits. Let's go to that scenario. It reads thus, Mrs. Zulu is going on pension and has decided to move to her son Mandla's house in Breads. Mandla has outbuilding at the back, which he uses to store his garden tools and various other stuff. Mandla has agreed to move his stored goods to a storage facility and convert the building into Granny's flat for his mother. Mrs. Zulu has requested that Mandla also install a small kitchen with a plug for a stove, a plug in the bedroom for her to listen to the radio and another one in the kitchen to boil kettle for tea. Additionally, Mrs. Zulu wants to be able to turn on the light in the kitchen from the main house and then be able to turn it off from the bedroom of the granny's flat. So this is what we know for now. So as electricians, where do we fit in in this scenario? 
If we go to the second paragraph, it says, Mandla must install a plug for a stove. That's where now we need to connect a stove sub circuit. A plug in the bedroom for her to listen to the radio and another one in the kitchen to boil kettle for tea. That's our second sub circuit, which is the sub circuit for the socket outlet. Additionally, Mrs. Zulu wants to be able to turn on the light in the kitchen from the main house and then be able to turn it off from the bedroom of the granny's flat. So that's our third circuit that we need to install. Let's see the existing infrastructure to that back room. The cable linking to the house and the outbuilding is an existing six millimeter square, three core steel wired armored cable buried in the ground. The length of the cable is approximately 30 meters. So that is the whole information from our scenario. As I said, there are second diagrams that we need to install to that scenario. The first second is the distribution board because it was not said that this, uh, the back room, it has the distribution board. So we need to install the distribution board in that small house because we all know the purpose of the distribution board. That's where our controlling and protecting device of the installation is being installed. Then the second, uh, uh, the, the second circuit is the stove sub circuit, followed by a two-way switch sub circuit and the socket outlet sub circuit. At first, let's start with the distribution board sub circuit. How to draw the components inside the DB and how to connect them. On your screen is the, uh, the circuit for the distribution board. So this is the first component inside the distribution board, which is the main switch. The main switch is a double pole, iso, uh, double pole component, which is 63 amperes, and its main function is to connect the installation from the supplier. The second one is the earth leakage. It is also double pole, and it is also 63 amperes, and its main function is to trip the whole installation in case of earth fall. This component will save the installation and the whole house to catch from catching fire because whenever there is a fault, this component will detect that and switch off the whole installation. The third component is the second breaker for the stove, which is 30 amperes. It is a single pole. A single pole means it only breaks life. The next one, it is second breaker for the plugs, which is 20 amperes. It will be called second breaker for the plugs or circuit breaker for the socket outlet. The last one is the circuit breaker for the light, which is 10 amperes. All circuit breakers are single pole. They break only life. On top, we have the red wire, 
the black wire and the green wire. These con conductors are from the cable that is already connected to the back room. So this cable is the one that will feed the whole installation with electricity. So on this, in this diagram, all red colors, they represent the life wire. And it is 10 millimeter square in size because inside the DB, we use 10 millimeter square conductor. All the black wires, they represent neutral and the green wire represent the earth. So this is what we need inside the DB and how we connect all conductors inside the DB. Underneath this, the, the, the socket outlets, there are red conductors. These red conductors are of different sizes because we use different sizes for different sub-circuits. Let's go to the next circuit. On your screen, this is a circuit diagram for the stove. On this diagram, life will be represented by red. Neutral will be represented by black. And F will be represented by green. This component, we call it an isolator. An isolator is a plug that controls the stove that is on the wall. So that on that isolator, it will break life and neutral. Then it breaks both life and neutral simultaneously. Then they will connect to the stove. The, the earth wire connects to the stove. If this is your stove, the earth wire will be connected to the frame of the stove. Then the stove itself, it has three lives. So inside the stove, there is life one, life two, and life three. So you need to bridge all three lives. Then you need to connect the stove, the life wire, to the bridge that you have connected inside the stove. Then the neutral wire will connect to neutral connection. The next circuit, it is a two-way switch because it was said that Mizulu need to switch on the light from the kitchen of the main house and switch it off when she enters her bedroom. So we need to design a two-way switch circuit for that reason. According to our circuit, the stove sub circuit, if we have already designed the circuit, it will be easy for us to draw the material list for each circuit. So for this stove circuit, what do we need? According to, because the circuit is the one that will direct us on what to buy for us to perform the job. The first one is a double pole isolator. The second one is the stove itself. And we need to buy conductors. The red conductor, the black conductor, and a 
copper wire. So we need to buy four millimeter square conductors for the stove. The second circuit is a two-way switch circuit. So the two-way switch circuit for the lights we need a red wire and the black wire which is live and neutral. So for two-way switch circuit to perform its two-way switching we need to have two-way switches times two. So the first two-way switch needs to be with the other one so that they can perform their two-way switching. So how do we connect them? From the circuit breaker, we connect the red wire to the common of the first two-way switch. Then we connect L1 of the first two-way switch to L1 of the second two-way switch. Then L2 of the first two-way switch to L2 of the second two-way switch. And the common point of the second two-way switch, we connect it to the light. Then the light from the light, we connect the neutral wire to the neutral bar. So from this circuit, it will be easy for us to be able to draw the material that we need to connect this circuit. If we go to that material, you'll see that we need two times two-way switches. We need the bulb holder, we need the bulb, and we need the conductors, the red conductor, the black conductor of 1.5 millimeter square. Although we don't connect the green and yellow conductor, the earth wire to the bulb, if the bulb is of PVC, but we need to connect this, this earth wire to the bulb. Then we leave it next to the bulb. If our client needs to change the bulb holder to metal in future. The, set, the third circuit that is needed is the socket outlet circuit or the plug circuit. Mizulu needs two plugs, the first one in the bedroom, the second one in the kitchen. How do we connect those plugs? From the circuit breaker, we will connect to the life side of the first plug. Then from the first plug, we go to the life side of the second plug. Then we connect the neutral wire to the first plug and we'll take it to the second plug. The earth will also be connected from the earth bar inside the DB to the earth connection of the first plug, then to the earth connection of the second plug. The material that we need to buy for this circuit is the following. We need to buy two plugs. We need to buy 2.5 millimeter square conductors, the black conductor, the red conductor, and the earth conductor, which is green and yellow. What else do we need? After we have collected the material, we need to have the tools that we use to connect this circuit. I have summarized this once because this toolbox is a topic on its own that will be discussed next time. So we need a fully equipped electrician toolbox 
and accessories that we use as electricians. Inside the toolbox, there'll be types of pliers, there'll be the wire stripper, there'll be the cable knife, there'll be the different files that we need. There will also be the fish tape. There are lots of things inside the, 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 the toolbox, but those ones are the ones that you're going to need to perform the duty. You will also need the bending spring, you'll also need the hickey, and you'll also need the chisel, the angle grinder, and the hammer to prepare the walls. The, those are the tools that you're going to need to install this three circuit to the building. There are also accessories that we use as electricians. Those accessories are adapters to connect to the wall boxes and different sizes of wall boxes. The couplings to connect two conduit pipes and we also need the screws, the screwdrivers, so that we can tighten all our connections. So in short, those are some of the tools that we're going to need to perform this duty. Our next lesson will be how to connect, where to start, that when we start to connect our circuits. For now, thank you as we were preparing for our house installation job. The outbreak of coronavirus has turned the whole world upside down. The outbreak prompted the president to make a pronouncement that there should be a nationwide lockdown in response to the outbreak. The lockdown did not leave out the colleges. It disrupted the programs in terms of teaching and learning. As a result, the principals of Tibet colleges decided to come up with ways and means of supporting the students who are at home. The first broadcast of the lessons happened on the 15th of April, 2020. I therefore want to request all the students, all the lecturers, to commit themselves to watching these programs because these programs are meant for them. After each and every broadcasting, the lessons are sent to the website of DHET. They are also accessible on the website of the colleges. You don't need data to access that. I therefore want to lastly urge you, our students, our lecturers, to ensure that these programs are making an impact on these students, to prepare them for the examination. There is no more time left in the year 2020. Stay home, stay safe.